What's up traders? This is Hugh. And in this video, I'm going to show you this cool new feature that TradingView has that's going to make it a lot easier to backtest. So in a previous video, I mentioned that uh, TradingView can be good for manual backtesting. You know, if you don't want to pay for something like Forex Tester, then you can use uh, TradingView, but you just have to, you know, move the arrows forward manually. And, uh, you know, that can be okay for some people, but uh, TradingView added this new thing, which allows you to test much faster. So how does it work? Okay, so um, the first thing you want to do is scroll back all the way to um, the first date in the uh, data. So for the EURUSD, TradingView has data all the way back to 2002. So just scroll back there and then uh, be sure to uh, select the correct time frame that you trade also. So you can uh, select that there and then click on this button. It's called bar replay. So what it's going to do is going to it's going to move the bars for for you automatically. So make sure that this jump to button is pressed and then you're going to see a red line. Um, then place that on the first day that you want to start testing. So in this case, let's start on May 8th, uh, 2002. So we'll just tap that. And now you're in replay mode, see in the upper right corner. And this means that now this box works. So you can tap the play button and then now it'll move forward just like Forex Tester at the speed that you determine. So if you want to speed it up a little bit, you can speed it up like that. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's uh, it makes it really easy to back test. So whenever you want to place a trade, you can, you can just pause it there. Uh, you can slide back if you need to, uh, move forward, and then you know, mark down the trade on your spreadsheet, your manual, manual back testing spreadsheet, and then you can move forward again, like so. And uh, this is just the first version of it. So as you can see, when you put it on the fastest setting, it's a little bit jerky, uh, but if you put it on the second fastest setting, so if you move it back here and then you play, then it's pretty smooth. You know, it, it works pretty well. So that's something that you can use to back test. If you don't want to buy a Forex tester, you just need a spreadsheet to mark down your trades. And then you need, you just need to use this bar replay feature in trading view. And, um, if you do use indicators, you can add them into the chart here. So for example, we're going to use the trading heroes outside bars indicator and that's going to mark all the outside bars with these arrows as you can see uh, outside bars engulfing bars whatever you want to call them and when when those bars print then you will see them come up on the chart also and this can be a signal to, to take a trade so what i think trading view is moving towards here and this is just my opinion but i think they're moving towards being able to use TradingView as a back test, a full on back testing system, and which would be great because, um, you know, Forex Tester is good, but it has its quirks. Same thing with MetaTrader. MetaTrader is great for uh, automated back testing, but for manual back testing, not so great. So I think that could be the direction that they're moving in, which be, which would be fantastic. Um, the only drawback to having Trading view as your backtesting system is that you would need to be online to um, to do the backtesting, uh, which you know might not be a problem in a lot of cases. Or they might come up with some sort of download where you could download the data to do the backtesting, which would be which would be fantastic. But uh, that's just conjecture at this at this point. But um, you know what they have here is is pretty awesome, and um, it it can replace. Uh, Forex Tester, uh, it, you just have to do a lot more work with recording the trades because Forex Tester is really good at, um, you know, marking the trades off for you and giving you a download that you can export. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, let me know below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have different um, playlists. So if you're into cryptocurrencies, I have a cryptocurrency trading playlist. If you're into backtesting, um, like this video, we'll go into the backtesting playlist. 
And then I have some other playlists like um, the podcast that I do where I interview traders. And I have the other podcast with Walter where I ask him questions and he, um, he gives you answers. So if you're interested in any of that, be sure to subscribe. And thanks for watching.